Hey, and welcome back to my channel today for a second time. This is just a little impromptu shopping trip. RJ, y'all keep remembering him. He's just not doing good. The um, effects of the concussion are not going away. He cannot drive. He cannot work. He is stuck at home. He's just pretty much just is. And so um, Sebastian had his little preschool pictures made, and I ordered us, uh, me and him and Mama, and they came yesterday, and I told him I would take him and we'd go to the Dollar Tree and look for some frames. So, when we were at, we went to two different ones, because the, the frames are out in all of them. I don't know why. That's um, something common in all the ones I've been in, is their frame section is very, but very bare. Well, there is a place in the same little strip it's not even a strip mall there's like three stores in it there's the dollar tree there's a, a rental place and then there's this liquidators we'll talk about it in a minute so rj's like well i didn't know i didn't know what that was can we look i'm like sure we can so i'm bringing you my teeny weeny little dollar tree haul and then we're going to do that liquidators unboxing because i'm gonna be honest with you i've already forgot what's in that bag <laughs> <laughs> and some of it, I don't even know what it looked like. We'll get to that in just a minute. Just let me show you right quick what I got at the Dollar Tree. Then we will talk about the liquidators. The first thing I wanted to show you mainly, and I want to put a bolo out. <laughs> the Member's Mark Chocolate Protein Shake. Now, I tried to look it up and see how much they went for. And apparently, Sam's has quit selling them, which is, I guess, why Dollar Tree got them. Well, obviously they were a dollar, but I've been using the vanilla. I used to do it early on in my Weight Watch journey when I started Weight Watchers. And now since I've started walking, what I do is I have vanilla and I have all those flavored syrups. I cut it. I use half of this and then the rest almond milk. That way it cuts some of the vanilla flavor down so the, the syrup will come through. Plus I get two out of it instead of one so it makes economic economical sense too well i thought well i would try chocolate for a change of pace so i told myself on the shelf i was going to get 12 and that's exactly how many they had they had 12 so be on the lookout for the it's probably just as good i imagine so i got 12 of those and then they had their little um baskets get two pack they had this color and like white or maybe off white type but I thought I would try that I don't know what I'm gonna use them for but I kind of felt like I needed them two in a pack and then this was over in the craft section they had this this is cactus they had strawberry they had something else and it is seed science grow kit learn and experiment <laughs> that's about what I need to do a biodegradable pot so you just do something with it and it'll germinate grow cactus and I figured I can't grow strawberries I don't want to order to grow strawberries or flowers or nothing but I can put a cactus in a pot so I thought I'd give that a try but isn't that cute kids might like that for like it says experiment and I think I already have some of these for flare matter of fact I know I do for when I get um, pick up her bugs her roaches and her worms and when she used to eat crickets I don't feed her crickets much anymore they're not very nutritious but these are perfect for that well the little tweezers I'm using in my craft room are getting kind of um, dull and gunked up because I use them to pull off um, hot glue and they're getting kind of gunked up so I never see these in the Dollar Tree and it's got four different um, styles so that's going in my craft room and these, don't add, don't you eat, don't you ask me what I'm doing with these. But they have them and I thought I might need them. These are butterflies. Let me get out the light. String lights. And these are flowers. Ain't they pretty? I thought they are pretty. So, I, I just thought I needed to have them on hand. And then the final thing I got, I have never ever seen it. So I picked up two of them because I thought I might need it. Permanent Mountain Tape by Super Glue. It says it holds 20 pounds. Now, I'm not using this on my walls because there is nothing I'm going to put on my walls permanent. 
I like to change stuff too much for that. But I thought a super glue tape, there might be some instances in the crafting arena that that might come in handy. So I picked up two of those. That's something brand new I have never seen. Let's see how much is in it. Four feet. That should last a while just for little, you know, dibs and dabs here and there. Now, let me put my bag up on here. And, well, let me, let me tell you about it first. So, there is this liquidator. Every day has a different price. So, you go in and there's just, just wood bins. They're like, yay high. And they're just like two and a half rows in that building. They're just piled up with stuff. Starting on Friday, Friday and Saturday is your high days. Everything is eight dollars. It does not matter what it is. It does not matter. Eight dollars. They're closed Sunday. Monday is five dollar day. Tuesday today was three dollar day. Wednesday is two dollar day. Thursday is one dollar day. See the price goes down as the inventory gets picked over. So you're just whatever's left you know you pay for whatever that day is so rj we were in the dollar tree and i was explaining to him i said now do you know what that is up there he says no he said he just assumed by the look of the sign it was like some kind of construction company up in that little you know um office area whatever i'm like no and i explained it to him he goes well can we look i'm like yeah we can so we got about halfway it's not a huge place so we got about halfway around um, he was on one side and I was on the other. We were showing each other. We thought we seen something. And then he hit the wall. He just, he couldn't take no more. He goes, I can't do no more, mama. I'm like, well, that's fine. We, we got plenty. We, we bought stuff, you know. He found a couple things that um, he found out. He collects cards, like magic cards and stuff like that. And he found a binder that you get at the game stores. The name brand that you get at the game stores. He said it was probably a $30 binder. $3. And he got a little... Um, coffee meal a little hand um cranked coffee meal for three dollars he's like now i gotta get me some coffee beans i'm like yeah if you want a good cup of coffee grind that up yourself so that's what he found for him now this is what i want to do is and they put it in a a force flex gar garbage bag and i didn't realize until i come in the house that's what i kept smelling in my car i kept thinking boy my air freshener is doing its job today <laughs> <laughs> it's a scented horse flex bag and it was heavy the thing they had this week is tons and everything's taped up you can't look if it don't have a label on it you don't know what you're getting so if you can see under the they put a label over it if you can see under it maybe you get lucky or if there's markings on the box you get lucky but you don't know what it looks like on the inside even if you know what it is so this is unboxing because these things I got they're like blind faith. I might know what's in the box, but I don't know what it looks like. So I thought I would just throw that bag up here, turn this camera around, and we will just cut these boxes open and look at them at the same time. I thought that might be fun. You won't be able to see my facial expression, but I'm sure you'll hear it in my voice if I'm happy or not. <laughs> so hold on. I'm going to move this out of the way and turn the camera around. Okay, I'm hoping... This is a good angle. Now, I know what this is, but I don't know how much is in it. And I'm going to tell you right now, Joan at Joan's Point of Play is <laughs> going to pass out when she sees it. And see, that's what they do. They'll put stuff, this is like their bag. They'll bag stuff up. If it's not in a box, they'll put it in a bag. This comes from Amazon, obviously. These are, let me quit rattling. I'm sorry for the rattling. These are reusable silicone bags. So there's one, let's see, it's got on there. Hold on. I guess it slides. I'll have to play with it. But I'm trying to, oh, hold on. Okay, of course you know the phone's gonna ring. 
I can't read through there, but this one, it looks like it might be, that's four cups, and that's the max, so that's the max it holds, and you can see the bottom, it opens up. This is heavy. I guess that's the brand name, No Stress Relax. So there's one, two, three, four of the four cup, and one, two of the six cup. These things are heavy. Joan, let me just tell you. If I had seen another one, you would be getting it in the mail. So, that, that was $3. I'm going to look this up on the um, computer and have it on the screen how much it would have cost me um, regular price. Now, I'm going to reach in with this. Okay, this is bamboo drawer divider. I thought these might come in handy. And I'm guessing there's two. I don't know. Uh, oh, there's four. There are. Look at that. Oh, look. Okay. Can you see? It's spring loaded. How cool is that? Four of them. It's got a little bumper on it. Little bumper on it on that side. So there's four of them. Oh, that'll come in handy in one of, one of my drawers. Two of my drawers. I don't know. That is Utope like bamboo drawer liner. I don't know. I'm going to look these things up and try to find um, retail prices. So that's that. Now let's see. Oh, this is self explanatory. Wooden spoons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve wooden spoons. If you saw my um, thrift, not thrift haul, one of my dollar, the Mighty Dollar haul, they had spoons, but they were like little short spoons. And I told you I had a craft that I wanted to do, but they're not long enough. They wouldn't work. And I told RJ, I said, I have not pulled the trigger to buy these at the Dollar Tree yet because that's a dollar a piece. And I got 12 for $3. So I think that's a good deal. So stay tuned for the, it's a craft I did way back in the day that I want to try to do again. And, oh, I still got more. Okay, this, it says soap pump clear brushed metal. It is heavy and there's no picture. So I do not know what in the world I'm getting. RJ said, well, it's like when he buys booster packs, that's what they buy when they collect cards. They're called booster packs. You know how, like, when we bought um, trading cards for the gun, but you don't know what trading card you're getting until you open it? That's the same with this. I, I just hope it's it's not ugly. Because <laughs> I want it for my kitchen. Oh, there's two of them in here. Oh my gosh, look at, for, oh my lord, I think I did good. There's M Design, so I got both of those for $3, fifty each. They look kind of cloudy, so I'm, I'll wash them up before I use them, but I like those. Oh, I like that. Okay, I did good. Listen, I when you, I thought it was one, and I did not know what it looked like. Let me see. Does it say on here? No brand. That M Designs, I guess. I got two more. Oh, I got three more. But I got three more things. Check this out. I knew what this was, and it is heavy. It is ten inch bacon dish bacon pan I should say oh. hold on I'm having I'm having twibbles it is a 10 inch bacon tray and each one has its own little silicone bacon mat. <laughs> How 
How cool is that? I know those will come in handy for something. Three dollars for both. Two more things. I'll leave the big one to last. This I got just because I'm thinking I can make some Christmas tree decorations for my small tree over here. It is little embroidery hoops. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. There's two packs of them, so I guess that's 12. And check this out. It comes with I guess there's 12 little buffalo check squares of fabric in there. How pretty will that be making ornaments for my Christmas tree? Let's look. Let's look and see. You know the little Christmas tree I have over here? My little holiday tree? Oh, okay. Black and white. Green and white. Red and black. Look big, small. Oh yeah, definitely. That that was definitely worth three dollars right there. Now for the the big one, I could see the outside because it had a picture. Oh, that garbage bag smells so good. Bamboo cutlery tray. Okay, I cannot wait. Oh, they didn't have it taped. I guess I could have looked if I wanted to, but for three dollars, it just went straight in my bag. What you shop with is they have Ikea bags. You know the big blue tarp looking bags from Ikea? That's what you used to shop with. Mine and RJ's was full, obviously. Oh my gosh. This is insane. Okay, you see what it does? Let me see. Look at that. Look at that for three dollars. <laughs> Can you beat that with a stick? My cutlery drawer over here is a huge drawer. It's wide as my double cabinets, and that's where I have all my knives and forks and silverwares and all that stuff. That's exactly where this is going. Those plastic ones are coming out, and this this pretty beautiful thing is going in and I hope it works perfectly so that's it for my um liquidators haul I will definitely be doing that again three dollar day might not have been eight dollar day so I didn't I didn't get the cream of the crop but I think I did pretty good for three dollars a piece what do y'all think let me know so that's it and I'll see you on my next video hey it's my next video <laughs> listen when I was filming that other thing and in here messing around, my nut stop box came. So I want to go ahead and share that with you. They reach out to me periodically to try their stuff. They do a lot of us YouTubers. Um, in my description box below, if you order from them, you use my code, save you 10%. I don't get a, a savings off of it. What I get is free items from them to try and to share with you. And then I can let you know if I like them. And I'm gonna tell you right now, I have not tried one single thing of theirs that I didn't like. They have really quality items. Some of these things I ordered, they let you pick what you want to try. If you want to try something new, or if you want to try something tried and true. I got some things I reordered and then some things um, that I'm trying for the first time. But I thought, well, since it came today, I'll go ahead and share it with you. Now, some of these things are RJ's. He um, picked out some snacky foods for him. Now, I may or may not have points on the screen. We'll see how <laughs> we'll see how I feel when I'm editing. But I do want to share this with you. The first thing I have here is dried cranberries, and pretty much everything of theirs comes in a one pound. I think that's one pound. Pretty much everything of theirs comes in a one pound package, and I'm gonna tell you what. Their prices, you really can't beat their prices. If I had to pay, I would pay their prices. So, this is a one pound bag of cranberries. I got these for my chicken salad that I make. It's got the cranberries in it. You know they make that one at, um, what is it, Sam's? Well, I really like it, but you have to buy eight of them and they're pretty high in points. So, I make one lower in points. That's why I got these. Oh, can you hear that thunder? We're going to get a storm. 
Good thing I walked this morning. And good thing me and RJ are already through with our shopping too. So you can almost bet there's going to be cranberry chicken salad on my meal prep coming up this weekend. I didn't know if they would get here in time um, for the past weekend, but I had it up here. I knew they were coming. Then this is this is definitely a reorder. They're jumbo salted um, cashews. Oh my gosh. I'm not joking when I tell you they've got to be the best cashews we have ever eaten. These are dangerous. The reason I like these though is for my cashew chicken. So that'll be coming up on the menu because I've been out. I'll be honest with you, the last time I made it, I had to get the cashews from Walmart's. So not the same. I don't know what they do, but these are the best cashews ever. <laughs> so that is, I think it's a pound. Yep. Did I already tell you? I think everything they sell comes in a pound package. And pretty much everything they have, it's got like a year um, expiration date on it too. So it's, they don't sell you anything that's going to go bad tomorrow. Let's see. Oh. See, I forgot what all I put on my list. And there was one thing they were out of. So they're going to surprise me. And I don't know what they were going to surprise me with. I hope <laughs> I hope I can remember what I picked and what, what they picked. This is, this might be my surprise. Because I think they might have been out of this. I'm not sure. I know I got sugar-free something else. These are sugar-free chocolate-covered peanuts. These will have to be divvied out into bags and put in a lock, <laughs> a lock box, because I know how good they're going to be. I can tell you without having the points in front of me, 40 grams, which that's pretty much a standard um, serving size. 40 grams is 90 calories. I don't know how much 40 grams is. I'm sure it's not that much, but I don't think that's bad. Let me see. It's real chocolate, and it is sweetened with sucralose salt and flavor sucralose and then it says a confectioner's glaze which I, I guess that's what makes them nice and shiny so whew, I'm excited about those these I got these are dried tart cherries because David has gout for I don't know how many years now I have been getting him tart cherry um, caplets from Vitacost and he takes one every single day and knock on wood he has not had a major gout attack since he's been taking them and there's something to that because the lady I used to go to church with me and her were talking about it she had the gout her doctor told her to eat six it was either six or eight tart cherries every single day for her gout and see, he was already taking the tart cherry because I had done the research. I was trying to find what can help him because if you've never had the gout, you just don't know. You can't even like blow on it. That is how painful it is. It's really, really bad. So I thought these tart cherries would be really good for him to add in a good snack. Plus they would give him benefit of the um, helping the gout. So that's what these are. Let's see. What is next? This is a oh, little roasted salted pecans. No explanation necessary. Those will be good in anything. <laughs> okay, this is RJ's fruit pastilles. I don't know how you say it. Oh, they're like, I think they're like little gummies. They are. They're like sugar-coated gummies. I'll tell you, a fourth a cup, which is 32 grams, is 100 calories. So, he don't count calories, but just so you would know what kind of um, you're looking at on these. But yeah, that's um, some kind of gummy. Oh, I think you'll like that. And then, roasted salted peanuts. Again, no explanation needed. I'm just telling you, their nuts can't be beat. David will eat these. He loves peanuts. He loves when I buy him the shelled peanuts. So he, he just sits over here and just shells him peanuts. And uh, so this is just saving the trouble. These are RJ's. Gummy apple rings. 
They're like sugar coated green gummy apple rings. I think it's a quarter cup, 30 grams. These are 120 calories for that. I don't know how many that would be in a quarter cup, but there it is. And next, these are his um, as well. And I know these are good because David has bought them. Dried pine, pine, pineapple rings. <laughs> They're very good. I've tasted them when he got them, but um, these are for RJ. These calories are 30 grams for 140 calories because they're sweetened. I'm sure they're sweetened. Yeah, they're, they're sweetened. They're not just um, plain dried, you know. They're, they've got sugar in them. And let's see, what's next? Guacamole sesame mix. This is also RJ's. Can you see that in there? It's got, oh, let's see. Peanuts, soybean, oh, guacamole seasoning, dehydrated spinach, onion and garlic, dehydrated parsley, avocado flavor, red cabbage. Oh, it's got all kinds of stuff in it. 30 grams a quarter cup is 150 calories. So that's just a nice little guacamole flavored mix. I guess it's like little nuts and those little crispy things like you get in the, um, the little snack sticks. And what is next? These are his too. I let him pick um, a good little bit. Dried pears. You can see those in there. This is a pretty new bag. I don't think I've ever had this color bag before. But you can see that's their standard um, bag that they put all their stuff in. Unless it's something that comes in a, a different type container. I think some of their imported foods, they come, you know, as they're packaged. Their bulk stuff comes in these kind of packages. Just pears and these do not have um, sugar in them. So 30 grams of these is 115 calories. Y'all hear that? Holy cow. Then this is, these are, these are his <laughs> Boy, he got a lot of stuff, I think. Did he get all this? Maybe. I'll have him try it though, and if I can think to tell you the things he tried, I'll let you know how good they are. But these are sesame sticks. You can see those in there. Listen, I don't know, maybe maybe he didn't. I think these are mine. I think I got these to go on maybe salad or something like that because the mix is his, and these are mine. A quarter cup is 167 calories, so I don't know what that would um, be in points, but it wouldn't take but a, a few just to crumble on there to get a little bit of um, flavor. These things are delicious. couple more things. This is, these are mine, raw walnuts. They didn't have, um, like roasted was just their walnuts were raw. So I got a thing of that. Of course, you know, all the nuts are just, you know, nuts. I think I got, oh, there's something wrapped up. There's something wrapped up in there. This is dried apple rings. These, these are RJ's. You can see them in there. The dried apple rings. What kind of calories are there? 30 grams per 120 calories. He's got a bunch of um, dried fruits to eat. And then we got Cranstachio. This is his too. Are all these things his? I should have him on here going through this with me. This is a Cranstachio mix. Cranberries and pistachios. That's all these cranberries and pistachios. 30 grams per 170 calories. I bet that's good. I bet that right there is good. Good, good, good. Then there is something in a... I bet this is my surprise. Uh, I guarantee you. Hold on, I don't want to make you stare at me while I open this. Okay, no, they're not my surprise. I ordered these. These are um, for David. They got chocolate on them. These are the Napoleon pretzels. So I don't know which one of those was my surprise. 
that's pretty bad, ain't it? It's all good, so it don't really matter. Um, the Napoleon pretzels, I, I, like chocolate, white chocolate. I don't know if that's like strawberry flavor or if it's just colored. I think it's just colored. I think they're all just either chocolate or white chocolate. Um, 40 grams is 200 calories, so that's, if I had a snack, that would be a bad one. Um, a bad one, not a bad snack. Um, heavy calorie load so I, I'm sure the points are probably kind of high on that but I got those for David see this is the kind of stuff he can throw in his lunchbox or he can have snack on sometimes he'll wake up in the middle of the the day night but his day hunt a little snack and then I, I got him this because it's like one of his favorite candies malted milk balls he loves those things so of course I got these for him they are 30 grams for 190 calories out I will I will taste these and the pretzels for sure the sugar-free peanuts those are mine and I will have to um, point them out and divvy them out and trust myself to not go overboard which we'll talk about that tomorrow on weigh-in if I've been doing good or not so now that is everything and now I will see you on my next video